Hello, Pisces. Thank you for joining me. It's Sandra from Wolf Moon Tarot. This reading is going to look at your energies between the 20th to the 26th of July um, or thereabouts. And, and sometimes the energies do resonate a little bit further on as the universal timing is, is very fluid. Uh, going forwards and backwards, um, Pisces, as you as you as you probably know. Um, but anyway, um, I've done a pre-shuffle of the uh, Shiri Marachetti uh, Gilded Tarot um, card, so I'm just going to do a final shuffle for you. Okay, I'll just do that again. That wasn't a very clean break. Neither was that. One more time and then we'll just have to go with what it is. Okay. Okay. That was a little bit better. So I'm going to do a past, present and future reading with um, a card from the bottom, which, um, as it's proving, it wants, it's something else that the energies want to say to you. Um, I'm just doing a final shuffle now of the Wheel of the Year Tarot. This will give a little bit of clarification to the Gilded Tarot. Um, a little bit of clarity and um, depth. Okay, just lay those on top. So it is a general reading, Pisces. If you'd like a more personal reading, uh, looking at your energies alone, um, please get in touch. And the information to get in touch with me is below this reading, this video. Now, in the past position, we have justice. So there was something about justice and needing needing for the scales to be balanced, for something to be balanced, to be evened out for equality and equity. So um, there's something that happened in the past and there was a need for justice for justice to be seen to be done or to be done and often this is a universal justice so that's in the past position and then connected to that we have the queen of wands and this is the entrepreneurial queen um very creative the wands are about creativity passion and energy and fire and, and often connected to creativity whether it be in in um, home life or in your career um, or in a general outlook and the Queen of Wands, um, uh, you can often find the, uh, the Queen of Wands energies um, in the workplace and in the very create in the creative department. She comes up with the ideas and has the energy and passion to take those ideas forward. So this could represent a person, um, a person perhaps who may work for herself or be working in a company who has a creative idea, very creative, knows how to put her ideas into action. All right. Uh, quite a grounded energy as well. So these two are in the past, justice connected to the Queen of Wands, for, for the Queen of Wands. And then in the present position, we have the moon. Um, and this is you, um, right at the heart of your reading, Pisces. This is your card. The moon is, uh, represents yourself um, uh, in, in, the, in the tarot. And, um, and then when we've got the ten of chalices, the ten of cups. So um, this is you. Um, the moon represents uh, creativity. Um, it also represents things that we don't know at the moment, that are in the shadows, that we have to wait a little bit of time for them to be revealed. So, you know, a little bit of um, not knowing something at this time. Um, and then we have the, and then connected to this is the Ten of Chalices. Now, the Ten of Chalices or the Ten of Cups, this is about happy families, happy ever, happy ever after. Um, the happy family, we've got the dog and the cat and the, and the couple with the child. So all the cups are there, all the cups are full. So having everything that you could wish for, really, um, to do with um, family, a family situation. Um, uh, all right, so this is a clarifier for the moon card. Um, and But there's, there's something that you don't know at the moment about this Ten of Chalices situation. It's a little bit hidden at the moment. All right, um, but there you are. You know, you're right at the heart of your reading, Pisces. 
So the future coming in, we have the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. The swords are about the mind. Um, they are the swords are about d deep thought, thinking, clarity, um, clear communication as well. And the swords are also about um, you know cutting through that which um, is no longer serving or needed. Um, the Queen of Swords, um, she she is um, a good queen, um, but she she won't she doesn't stand. Um, nonsense if you like she 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 will she will cut a, cut through that which is wrong that which is not right not truthful not clear so excuse me so you know she will cut through that cut away anything that's not um serving her all right and so she likes clarity she likes truth she likes to have a good understanding because she is a, a deep thinker you see she's very much of the mind um, so this is about clear communication, This the Queen of Swords going forward, um, and, and she will accept nothing less. And then to connect to that is the Nine of Pentacles. Um, now then, in different decks it, it has different imagery, and so a slightly different meaning, but it is very much about, in this deck, this is about having the pick of the crop. Um, and, and getting paid well for that. So it, it can be about the independent worker, um, somebody who works for themselves, um, and, and having the pick of the crop and, and earning money, you know, being a very good worker, but very creative and very good at what they do. And then they get the rewards accordingly. Um so sometimes, uh, so it'll be something different for all of you, Pisces. Sometimes this is, this refers to somebody perhaps in your life who feels that they uh, have the pick of the crop. They, they, they could pick and choose what they want. Um, but in that case, and it may not be, um, in your best interest to her, um, the, the behavior of this sort of a person energy around you. And that's where the Queen of Swords may come in. She may not tolerate somebody that's overly selfish and she may cut, cut them away. So it'll be, it'd be something different for all of you. So whoever the Queen of Swords is, so the Queen of Swords could well represent yourself going forward, that energy. Um, and it means either as the Queen of Swords, then you are going to be very successful and there's going to be abundance coming around you as you work for yourself. Or it could mean that you're going to cut away somebody that is quite selfish and just taking what they want for themselves. So however it resonates with you, it could be a combination of those energies for you, Pisces. Now, um, something else they wanted to say to you um, is the Seven of Cups. And this is when we have lots of choices, lots of options. And each cup has got something different in it here. So there's not a bad or a good cup. It, there are they're just choices, options, difference. And really, this is about you making a decision, Pisces, um, choosing one of the cups one way forward. But it's a bit overwhelming at the moment. You're not quite sure which one to choose. But it, it's nice to have options, isn't it? Um, yes, and because you're overthinking things, like with the Eight of Swords, so you're overthinking, you feel stuck, you don't know what to do, you don't know what decision to make, so it's sort of keeping you awake at night, really, going churning over and over in your mind what to do next. Right, I'm going to take some more cards for you from the Earth Magic deck. So could we have some more information, please, um, for Pisces, this reading, the 20th to the 26th of July. Some more clarification, please, um, about this reading. Let me just clear those away so I can see. Right. Perhaps a little bit more information um, about the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles. information about the Queen of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, please. Thank you.
So we have an overall energy of rebirth. So the new beginning, there's a rebirth, um, a newness, something new starting. You see, we've got the all the um, picture of, of spring where you've got the, the birds, the eggs in the nest, um, the rabbits, um, butterflies, all the um, imagery of um, of the springtime, um, and but new growth. So the rebirth of in some way um, happening, and then we have new beginnings. There we are. There's the dawn. New beginnings. Um, being vigilant, the stone people, and effortless waterfall. All right, so there's going to be, you're going to make a choice, I feel. Um, you've got lots of options, and you, which is overwhelming, but you are going to make a choice. It's going to be a rebirth. Um, you know, things are going to, you are going to make a decision, and it's going to re-energize you, and it's going to be a, a brand new beginning, because we've got the dawn, the dawn of a new day, the dawn of a new beginning, the sun coming coming up at dawn this is a new beginning um be vigilant we've got the stone people so this is being watchful being vigilant with the the stone people um they see the tides come and go they hold memories um of uh, over many 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 years they see the clouds coming and changing shape so um there's some for some reason it's about being vigilant being mindful um being aware um, not taking anything anything for granted, I feel. Um, so being on top of your game um, as this, as you go forward in this new beginning. Um, and then it's going to be effortless. You've got the waterfall. And as water falls down from the rocks, as long as there's nothing blocking the path, which there isn't here, it falls down effortlessly. It's, it's going to be so easy for you. It's going to be effortless. All right, it's going to flow. So um, that's that lovely, lovely reading for you there. Um, OK, I'm going to leave it there, Pisces. I hope you've enjoyed the reading. Um, please let me know in the comments section if you have any thoughts. You don't have to, of course. Um, but if if you've enjoyed the reading, if you just let me know, I do enjoy reading any comments. Um, it is a general reading, so um, if you want a personal reading, please get in touch with the information that's below the video, how to get in touch with me. Um, but thank you so much for joining me, and good luck going forward, and please join me again in the future. Take care now. Bye-bye.